well students now here let's see two dimensional projection now you know projection is nothing but the shadow so here we have to consider a transformation matrix t that is a b p c d q l m s first your a b c d produce scaling shearing rotation and reflection l comma m produce translation in x and y directions third if p equal to q equal to 0 and s equal to 1 the transformed points transformed points also lie on or lie on the hyperplane h equal to 1 next if p q are non zero and s is not equal to 1 then transformed points transformed points move to different hyperplanes different hyperplanes therefore p star is p into t different hyperplanes p star is p into p p is what x y 1 t will be 1 0 p 0 1 q 0 0 s that gives what x y p x plus q y plus s right so here so here that is point p transformed to hyperplane h equal to what px plus qy plus s we transform it back to h equal to 1 plane which is which is called two dimensional projection means a transformation of a point from other hyperplanes to the plane h equal to 1 is called a two dimensional projection therefore p star 
can be written as x upon px plus qy plus s y upon px plus qy plus s and 1 obviously px plus qy plus s should be non zero right now next thing overall scaling scaling not in x direction y direction while it is overall scaling overall scaling is produced by entry s where p star equal to p into t where p is x y 1 and here t will be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 s so this p will become x y s here h is equal to s it is on hyperplane h equal to s so let's transform it to h equal to 1 so the coordinates are y upon s and 1 okay note that effect of overall scaling by s units by s units is uniform scaling is uniform scaling by 1 upon s units uniform scaling is in two dimensional plane so uniform scaling by 1 upon s units right therefore if s greater than 1 it is a contraction of the object and if 0 less than s less than 1 it is an expansion of the object expansion of the object let's solve one example on this find concatenated transformation matrix for first reflection through y equal to minus x line Second, overall scaling by two units. Third, is one zero two zero one three. 0 0 1 yes. projection is given and said that apply it on triangle ABC triangle ABC having the position vector matrix 2 4 minus 2 5 minus 1 minus 1 okay 
so let's solve this first of all we will find the con concatenated transformation matrix and then we will apply it here therefore the concatenated transformation matrix is t equal to what first reflection then overall scaling is scaling and then t3 right so let me write reflection through y is equal to minus 6 so 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 0 0 0 0 overall scaling so 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 by 2 units it is therefore and t3 is given 1 0 2 0 1 3 0 0 1 so this product of this three matrices is 0 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 0 minus 2 0 0 and we have to apply it on a triangle ABC. Therefore, transformed triangle A star B star C star equal to ABC into a T. Therefore, A star B star C star equal to 2, 4, 1 minus 2, 5, 1 then minus 1, minus 1, 1 into T 0, minus 1, minus 3 minus 1, 0, minus 2 0, 0, 2 so it is what this matrix is minus 4 minus 2 minus 12 minus 6 2 minus 4 1 1 7 so it is 1 by 3 1 by 6 1 then 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 1 by 7 1 by 7 and 1 so here at last we have to transform all of them to the hyperplane h equal to 1 remember this therefore a star having a position vector 1 by 3 1 by 6 b star having a position vector 3 by 2 minus half and c star having a position vector 1 by 7 1 by 7 here this point i have been transformed to hyperplane h is equal to 1 dividing throughout by minus 12 here dividing throughout by minus 4 and here by 7 this one here but with these values we have to divide so that they shift to h is equal to 1 ok now one more point we have to see that is point at infinity in this chapter then the chapter will finished point at infinity definition consider a homogeneous coordinates of a point of a point x y h where h tends to 0 we project this point 
we project this point on on to h equal to one plane then it is called point at infinity it is called point at infinity wherever h tending to zero when we project that point on h is equal to one hyperplane that time that is known as a point at infinity that is x y zero is point at infinity it is same as to say this right we can find point at infinity point at infinity on any line must passing through on any line passing through origin as line and point at infinity suppose for few lines it is given suppose positive x axis the point at infinity x x 0 0 positive y axis then point at infinity will be 0 y 0 Negative x-axis. Then point at infinity will be minus x zero zero. Negative y-axis. Then point at infinity will be zero minus y zero. And line a x plus b y. Equal to zero has the point at infinity is one minus a by b zero. Okay. Here one more note. Remember this parallel line. Parallel line in two dimensional system. in two dimensional system meet at point uh, point at infinity or meet at infinity as such we can see okay so this is all about this chapter 1 that is two dimensional transformations so many basic transformations we have seen previously here then some examples on them then most of two dimensional figures how the transformations about them we can do that one we have seen then rotation about an arbitrary point reflection through an arbitrary line then com combined transformation all these concepts we have seen here now in next chapter we have to see the three dimensional transformations so it is in that one multiple transformations rotation about an axis parallel to coordinate axis rotation about an object rotation of object about an arbitrary line plane these things we have to see also we have to see there the affine transformation perspective transformation then projections okay so here we will stop for this next video we will st start our next chapter thank you